OVB. And 
Sonia Branziwa, Sonia Sari Pebi and Shebio, Sonia Sma Pebi Swa Frebi, Sonia Sam Pebi Swa Nombi, Nabu, Nachina Sess, 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 Sess,
provide our sister Mavis and the family uh, to bring their pants here. I have to 
to tell my mom, hey, as soon as you know, you know, you know, bitter. Yes, someone was working so much. It surprised me. Everybody. My awesome, God bless you so much for organizing a lot of people. Oh, Sheila. I mean, strong. Oh, all those masters, well. Strong, do, do, do. They were like, no, we, we will go to our hotels, we brought our food. I'm like, you guys have to eat from home. They did everything exceeding me. My family over here, my mom, my mom, my mom, all those I call mothers, all those I call uncles, fathers. Oh, Munina. Those that came from far away to stay with me in my home, my home was full. They worked throughout the days. I mean, Shamo, I have people that really love me. A whole lot of people. Someone called and said, Mavis, I have never ever really spoken to you before, but now you are my good friend. I mean, Shamo, God bless you so much. This woman, this woman, I call her the cute woman with huge brains. <laughs> Oh, Salent, God bless you so much for everything. I mean, strong people, yeah. all oh, those people that came from far and near, everybody. Yeah. Individually, I will relay my thanks to you at the appropriate time. When I mean, strong, coffee, autumn, just 30 seconds, um, coffee. Abusiapeni would like to also give his appreciation. Amen. 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 I also want to stand on behalf of uh, Kofi's family. Yeah. To thank everyone. I'm equally shocked at the response that you and the support, the support that you have given us. We're deeply thankful. If this message is being transmitted to Ghana, I want my Lizzie Kofi's mom and his dad, Mr. Pierre Kubi, popular known as Besto, to receive a special thanksgiving on their behalf from me. And I say to the pastors, the overseers, the district persons, the elders, Elder Maxwell and the team, from day one that I started speaking on behalf of the family, it has been wonderful. And I look forward to this day. And uh, most of all, I'm very thankful to God because he can use any method he wants for his miracle working power. Look at the rain yesterday. When it started raining, as for me with my walk with God, I tell him some stupid things. <laughs> Not deliberately, but you know, some things when you lay down things, they are stupid. But I'm glad God judges from the heart, you know. It's like when your child is asking you certain questions which sound stupid. They may sound stupid in your hearing, in your ears, because of your maturity. But for the child, they are very sensible questions. So, let me, I don't know what you talk. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. No, any more come on, Munti. No, I do want to. Maybe I was a sacro, you didn't mind getting you over. Amen. Now, yes, more gentle, dear child. And I'm just a cocky because the same thing. Now, the castle is all for your child. Yes, I mean, I mean, yes, 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 I said, well, you know how to solve this problem. And look at what they did. How brothers and sisters, men and women, walked in the rain. Yes. And stood yeah. at the graveyard. Wonderful. How they drove through. And we haven't heard of any accident or incident. Mm -hmm. It's all by God's Amen. 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 And we're most grateful to him. Yes. But we want you to also receive our thanksgiving, our gratitude. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. And I'm sure Kofi is in heaven rejoicing. Amen. But I want to sound a word of caution to you spiritually as a church. 
Kofi obviously backslid, but he made it the last minute. Do you understand? The last minute. I used to pray a lot with Mavis, but the night before Kofi died, you know, I spent the last 50 years, I spent up to three, four hours a day in prayer. I sleep, the, the earliest I sleep is about 2 a.m. I've done that for years. And so I was praying that night. And then I fell into a trance. And in this trance, there were strong spirit beings, mm -hmm. like big money powers. I said, well, you don't understand our language, but he owes us, and we're taking him to our prison. I said, you're not taking him. They said, who are you? I said, you ask your boss who I am. You are not taking him. And I started praying in tongues for many, many, many hours. And at the end, they said, well, since you have paid us, we are releasing him to you. Amen. And then in that trance, they released Kofi. And he was looking at me so hard. Then the next morning, I wanted to call maybe to ask him, has your husband committed any crime against the federal government? Mm. But I couldn't get it. Mm. And then in a few minutes, she called me to tell me the news. Mm. I said, let's rejoice. Because those who were taking him to their prison mm. have lost the battle. Amen. Amen. And he's been set free. Amen. I believe he's in paradise. Amen. Amen. I do believe that by virtue of this revelation, I know when God speaks to me. I know that. But we cannot take that as an excuse to backslide. Mm. If you were Kofi's friend and you're backsliding, I warn you in the name of Jesus, yes. you better put your two feet together yes. and walk with the Lord Jesus. Yes. This is not a time for the church to backslide. Yes. You hear me? Yes. We're in the extra time of the game. Mm. You all know football when we play 90 minutes and there is no winner. And we go into the next 30 minutes or whatever, for the extra time, that is a serious time. He's got the golden goal rule, where if you lost that time, you're lost. I think they've revised it now, but extra time is a very serious time because everyone is tired and worn out. And so you can play games. That is where the church is worldwide right now, spiritually speaking. Time is very close. It's the beginning of the end of time. You cannot afford to backslide. Hear the words of the preacher this morning. The promises of God are here and amen in Christ. But unlike the brochure that was given us during Sunday school, that we are called to reach out to the community, we've been unleashed as an army to go into the world to bring the captives out. By this is my father glorified if he bear more fruit. He's talking about winning souls, first by our character, our lifestyle, and then by our activity, what we sow into them. Every human being has a need. And don't be afraid to soil your hands Amen. for Jesus. Amen. The time is close. You know, when it's over, you have an account to give. And I want you to work so hard in this final time that when the Lord calls you as his call COVID, you will have a proper account to give to the government of heaven. Amen. When I think of going, I think of going happily because I've run the race. Yes. I've kept the faith. Yes. And there remains for me a crown of righteousness. Yes. Which Paul said, not only to me, but to as many of us as I focus on the Lord. I've never believed the devil could take me out. No. I will live the fullness of my days yes. to the last hour. Amen. No demon in hell. Yes. I've been privileged to travel the world seven times. You understand? In 50 years of missionary evangelism, I was the first African black preacher to preach for Dr. Cho in Seoul, South Korea, when he had 350,000 people. And I share fellowship with him and the things he prophesied. I say this to encourage you that from a small village of nowhere, God has brought me this far. But every word he spoke, I believe. And I've seen every promise as the preacher preached this morning. Thank you, Pastor Apostle, for the word this morning. How many of that was God speaking to you? And the Lord will confirm. Amen. And I want you to work so hard. Amen. Don't be troublesome in the body of Christ. Amen. Contribute. Don't be a spectator. Be a participant. Amen. 
Et si on veut dire, et c'est un fou ou quoi Moi, je sais à ce moment. C'est un dépend. Dis qu'il y a un homme. Et ma Dieu dit. Amen. Just as when a sick person gets so sick and the doctors feel like we should break it, do surgery, and move out of that cancer because it's going to kill the whole body. And little leaven leavens the whole body. And there's troublesome Christians. I was in Texas in a river, and when there was one Sunday school teacher, I saw me, I'm a boat rock, I said, stupid man. Well, Elder McKeon, who found a Pentecost, must be always smiling on his people. He's done wonderfully well. Amen. He's laid the foundation. But let's build on it. And so when you get ready to go, you'll be going in fullness of joy. Amen. Once again, Amen. we are family thanking family. Amen. Amen. God reach your bless you. Also, God bless you. Thank you. Amen. At this point, we're going to take our announcement with our secretary. Hallelujah. Please let's listen to the following announcement. Please, our focus for the month is the church as a people of God. And um, our Bible.